Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl Stephanie, aka Edini Hastusa. I have like a, you know, one of those, uh, I'll just unplug it. <laughs> those electric massages, and uh, I just accidentally turned it on. Anyway, um, here doing love and relationship readings, currently on the sign of Gemini. So let's hop into your energy, divine forces of unconditional love of the highest microcosm. What does the sign of Gemini need to know for the highest good in the area of love and relationships? Um, these readings have been so far kind of interesting so I must say and let you guys know that this is a general reading it's not going to apply with for everyone it may only apply to like a handful of people if not just one person because yeah like I said the first reading I did spoke about you know um, same-sex relationship uh, getting comfortable with coming out of the closet. So I know that story is not going to be for everyone, right? So again, it's just general um, and it may not apply for everyone. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Five of Cups is the uh, supporting energy that I'm seeing here. I'm no longer crying over spilled milk, uh, Gemini. So um, you're most definitely um, coming into an energy of not again finding um, solace and not accepting um, less than what you deserve you know um, no longer dwelling on past relationships that didn't work as we have uh, as the beginning um, energy of your um, reading as the high priestess clarified by the nine of pentacles okay you are happily you know well, single and, and focusing on yourself, that self-discipline, listening to your intuition here with the four of swords and you're healing with this four of swords energy. You know, you're healing from this relationship that did not work out. You know, you're finding the strength and the fortitude to overcome the deception and the uh, abandonment that you felt in this past relationship. And you're releasing that those obstacles, that overwhelming feeling. And you're moving forward with inspiration into the new ways of thinking. And um, because we have the page of swords here. Um, and so, again, let me call out the cards. This is a strength card. You're finding the strength to move on past deception, the seven of swords um, and the five of pentacles. Moving The strength to move forward past deception and abandonment. The ten of wands, which is that overwhelming, overburdened feeling. You're finding the strength to overcome all of that here. Um with the page of swords coming out perhaps the insight you know maybe again the insight from your intuition and uh that god guided you on this journey of self-discipline and that's the reason why you are in this five of cups or overcoming this five of cups energy of crying over spilt milk um and so you're moving forward and um with the prince of swords here which is the knight of swords um not accepting anything less you know this person if you see they got his hand out and the sword up there it's like don't come to me unless you um you know about that real don't come to me unless you uh bring in a serious offer you know you're not accepting anything less tower right with the three of pentacles you're you're breaking down that old people pleasing energy and you're looking for sorry someone that you are that you can build with you know you're making that final decision that you're not going to be in this nine of source energy anymore you're going to place your intentions that you want out there uh within your heart and you're you're going to stay in that energy or you're moving on here with the eight of cups walking away you're not you're not walk you're not going to be in this uh nine of source energy of, of doubt you know just because this person left you or, and deceived you make you feel like you're not worthy oh no you're walking away from that energy and you're moving into a uh, um, new energy right with the page of uh, pentacles new energy that you know brings back the joy and excitement and enthusiasm for life again um, in truth with the ace of swords here helping you to solidify yourself with the queen of pentacles energy you know nurturing yourself exactly seven of coins that is the energy that you are investing in you're walking away from this five of cups energy and you're finding your 
your truth, your power. You're getting in tune with your intuition, high priestess. You are uh, exercising that self-discipline and loving of, of self, right? With the Ace of Cups here is the next card that we're going to clarify. That unconditional love. You're healing and finding that unconditional love for self and, you know, not accepting anything less. And with you doing that, that's going to bring in a reconciliation Um Perhaps with a, a relationship outside of you or just relationship within yourself, which is going to draw to you the Ten of Cups, which is the next card that we have here that I'm going to clarify. You're going to, with you loving yourself, you're going to draw in that unconditional love uh, from without, you know. Um, wow, beautiful. The World card comes to clarify the Ten of Cups. Exactly. You are ascending to that next level, okay? Okay eight of swords overcoming um that energy of being um trapped that self-limiting that self-imposed anxiety you're you're not you're walking away from that energy you know and getting in tune with your uh, your intuition exactly six of swords moving on to calmer waters you're not in that eight of swords energy anymore uh, you are comfortable in balancing um, with the two of pentacles, which is that chaos and balancing, you are um, getting more comfortable in that energy. We have the five of cups here again. Yeah, no longer um, crying over spilt milk and those things that are that didn't serve you. Those missed op what seemed like missed opportunities, but you know that that was just uh, what was needed. You know, for you to grow into this energy of self love. And your ancestors are here supporting you with that, with the Temperance card, the King of uh, Chalices, with, you know, you being, uh, that's you embracing your true authentic self and moving forward uh, in clarity and strength with the King of Swords, you know, being able to thrive and pick yourself back up after being in such a, a, a tough situation here. And... The last and final energy we have is the Prince of Cups. So moving forward in love and in balance, you know what I'm saying? Not allowing that relationship that did not work out to um, hinder you at all, but only make you stronger here with the Queen of Swords and clear about what it is that you want. Right? Page of Chalices, which is going to bring in a, a, a new love okay and then we have the lovers card here um and then we have this this deck has three lovers card it has one with two men two women one with the man and a woman i believe um and this one shows two women i feel here so um perhaps you're in the same sex relationship or um but or basically again you may be finding this just that love within yourself finding that balance within yourself which is going to bring about you know perhaps that reconciliation again um very similar to aquarius this reading so gemini if you would um like to take a look at that reading i think you will find uh, some insight there but uh but yeah you're you're standing in your power so either that's going to attract this past person back or um, you're just going to be open to a new relationship. And I think it's more of the latter. I think you're just going to be open to uh, a new relationship, a new love. And hell, hell, you know, perhaps this past person may come back as completely uh, healed, you know. So let's get some messages from your person. To get uh, more insight into you guys' relationship. So it says, our connection is so powerful. Our connection is so powerful. Union too soon can be destructive. But if we wait until we've grown, we will assist humanity. We are powerful. Wow, okay. So maybe that's the reason why you guys are in delay right now, you know.
I'm longing for a part of myself that I am running from. Is the overall energy. So, um, I don't know, it could be, you know, same-sex relationship. Maybe a person isn't uh, ready to accept the fact that they, you know, are attracted to the same sex. Could be. That was um, some of the energy I got from Libra's reading. Um, so, it could be. But then, you know, let's abandon, Okay. So that's what's clarifying that our connection is so powerful. Union too soon can be destructive if you don't work through those abandonment issues. Um, and as you heal those abandonment issues, when you guys come together, your love will be one that can help heal humanity. It says, would it be selfish for me to ask you to wait for me? Um, and that's clarified. I almost clarified by... I think I want to get all the cards out here. So let me do that before I proceed to give you what you need. I visit you in your dreams. It's clarifying. I'm longing for a part of myself that I am running from. So they're still running from themselves. So, of course, they're going to run from you. They're abandoning themselves. They hadn't even been true to themselves, their selves, you know. So how can they be true to you? But they love you. They want you to wait for them. They visit you in your, in your dreams. Ugh. Stalk you online. One more from this deck, and then we'll move on to uh, Untold Truth of the Heart Oracle. I feel like some cards want to come out, but they like going back in. So this could be the same energy as this person. They want to. They want to tell you, um, and then I just, it's funny, I just got the I got spooked cards. Like, I, I want to tell you, but then I, I'm, I'm afraid. I want to come out, I want to come out and tell you how I feel, but, you know, there's something that keeps holding me back. So this is the last deck and then we'll go into the energy into reading these messages you know connecting the dots okay a lot of pride and ego two, two more cards So bottom of the deck is mirror reflection, um, shared feelings. You, um, we will be, we will be together again. Um, lovers. So there's a, you know, a spiritual connection here. I visit you in your dreams. A part of me, I'm longing for a part of myself that I'm running from. say so they don't want to accept the fact that they love you so much because probably in the past that you know they've been they've dealt with a lot of relationships perhaps a mothering relationship as well where they felt abandoned you know may have some other issues here or father issues uh, but it says our connection is so powerful our union too soon can be destructive but if we wait until we've grown and healed i'm adding that part and heal we heal the abandonment we can assist the humanity we are powerful um, clarified by I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer elusive intangible dishonest and tricky 
they're finding out they're seeing that their abandonment issues have caused them to be elusive um, and dishonest and they can't you know ignore those signs anymore that's why again they're saying that our connection is powerful we can't come together too soon before i healed those things you know having to heal their pride and their ego it says would it be selfish for me to ask you to wait for me i almost let them destroy our connection in which you reject me clarified by ego arrogance and stubborn love okay so they're still needing to heal there's a lot of pride going on here um, and they know that if they don't come back completely healed, that you may reject them. And they're, of course, they're like, you know, I'm, I'm letting those people who abandoned me, who abandoned me to destroy our connection. But please wait for me. I'm healing myself to come back to you. Um, we have I travel the universe tripping over stars to find you. I never meant to hurt you. Clarified by I still love you and apology return forgiveness and gifts. OK, so this person know that their abandonment issues had caused them to abandon you. Right. But they know they are saying I never meant to hurt you. I've traveled the universe to find you and I'm doing what I can in my power to heal so that I can return to you full and whole. Um, we have I keep myself from you because I don't want to hurt you. I think I've done enough damage clarified by I care about you clarified by I looked you up online to see what you've been up to um, upheaval shock the unexpected trouble and so maybe they're feeling the fire now because you've you know been in this energy of self-discipline and growing and um, and you know just getting over them now you're no longer crying over spilled milk and now they're feeling the pressure right to get to come back to you um, they've been looking you up online and it's time for them to make the move. They see that you are their empress. Um, we have spiritual growth here. Being a part has been life changing for me. Clarified by lust, uh, intensity, sexual energy, noncommittal. So they know, again, they know that you're their empress and they've grown spiritually to see that, you know, before, while they were in this abandonment energy, that they only allowed themselves to lust after you, but not to truly give you all of their. Um, of, of them within a relationship um, and then we have possession and this is I need to tell you how I truly feel I got spooked in fantasy dreams fairy tale imagination um, so I'm still feeling like this person um, is not ready to um, to commit right now so I would say, uh, Gemini, continue to do what you've been doing, uh, building your uh, life and your stability. They say here uh, we will be together again, but, you know, that's completely up to you, you know, uh, because this person is still, you know, dealing with those uh, abandonment issues um, as we have all of that that i need to tell you how you feel i got spooked clarified by fantasy dreams fairy tale and imagination um so they they most definitely have love for you but um maybe they're they're in their in their heads too much in the fantasy land and they're not really taking the practical steps that are needed to heal give me clarity on this fantasy energy spirit I got spooked this little last row of energy yeah they're still working with the eight of coins they're still working to overcome um, that uh, aban those abandonment issues they're still working through uh, sexual addictions you know because maybe that's how they mask their mother issues with a femi with, fem with the feminine energy by just having sex with them not really committing to them um, but they're seeing that truth, you know, and they're they're working on it. Uh, Knight of Wands, and then the Eight of Swords. So, but they're still in this, you know, lustful energy. I feel, um, and that they are, you know, bound by that energy. They're they're not able in this self-imposed energy you know we have the possession card they are really uh feel perhaps um possessed by this sexual um 
these sexual addictions. We have the moon card here and the queen of chalices. So there's, you know, some still a lot of illusions going on with this um, connection with this person. And spirit is as, you know, just saying, stay on your, your um, path of focusing on yourself, not crying over spilled milk. Hold your cup of love close to you, you know, because there's still a lot of things that have been that are hidden that, you know, that still needs to be worked that, you know, that needs to be worked out. So um, let's see what that is. Six of coins, balance, give and take, um, bottom of the deck, two of pentacles, which is that confusion. You need to just invest in balancing. There's still, you know, unrequited love, you know. So just focus on yourself at this time, Gemini. Continue to build your business. Um, if you, we do have this mirrored energy here. So if you have any mother or father energies that you need to work through, um, do that so that you can attract to you um, a love that is going to bring you that balanced um, energy, you know. That's going to help you heal um, those well, it's not really helping you heal. It's you helping yourself heal, right? You healing yourself and raising your vibration. Not allowing this relationship uh, that didn't work to have you uh, in a negative, you know, in the negative energy surrounding relationships and love. Don't allow that this relationship to... Um, make you doubt love you know just continue to be in the energy of healing all right gemini that's what i have for you hope you hope they helped you in some way shape form or fashion i love you all and until next time peace